The following program may contain elements not suitable for all ages. Performances are conducted by trained professionals. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back fans to another episode of NEW Evolve. Today we come to you from the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium in Grand Falls, Windsor. We have in action the outcast Jeremiah Javen as he looks to continue to climb up the ladder when he battles the mysterious CPU. And then in our main event, the Newfoundland Tag Team titles are on the line as Justin Locke and Aziz battle the Dukes of Silver. Travis here we are back for another episode of NEW Evolved and look at this idiot here CPU thinking he actually stands a, a chance against the outcast Jeremiah Javen. Well time will tell but Jeremiah Javen's looking to build on his recent victory over Brady Felix as we see yeah uh, CPU doing what he does best and uh, oh entertain the crowd at ringside here at the Joe Burn Arena. Wow, and the kisser there from outcast wow. Jeremiah Javen. What a great way to uh, start this match with gigantic knee to the face. That's right. It doesn't bode well for CPU. And you can see the outcast certainly not endearing himself to the fans here in the Joe Byrne Memorial Stadium. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. They are definitely behind CPU here. I don't understand it. Everywhere we go, people seem to be drawn to this guy. He's an absolute goofball. I guess that's that's the nature of what they like. Some of these guys here, they like yeah. to get behind the underdog. Yeah, that really makes sense. And we see the outcast here. Look at him. Lay him waste. That loss in that triple threat match with Zach Youngblood and Brady Felix was the wake-up call Jeremiah Javen needed because he's absolutely been on fire since coming out of that matchup. Um, as we see here, the referee trying to break this up. And uh, CPU kicking and screaming as he's being choked in the corner. And the referee just got in between Jeremiah Javen and CPU trying to restore some order here. Official Dickie Dunn in there right away. And Javen right back on the illegal maneuvers. This is getting out of hand. He's doing this more and more at every match. You're loving this, aren't you, Tyler? Dude? Wrong of you to assume that. But yes, I do enjoy the new version of Outcast Jeremiah Javen. He's refocused. He's angrier. He's meaner. And he's looking to move his way up in New Evolution Wrestling. The CPU with some athletic skills of his own here. Some comedic timing. The CPU trying to get the fans behind him here. He's doing his best, but these fans aren't going to be able to win the match for you, CPU. CPU with splashing. Oh, he misses the splash in the corner. That wasn't too pretty there, and Outcast makes him pay. Who do you think you are? What a devastating chop to the chest, and he's going in for the cover, Travis. And that was a two count, and CPU barely kicked out of that, Todd Winters. Well, it almost was enough to put CPU away, but the Outcast, still in firm control, just needs to step it up to another level and put this one away. What a beautiful elbow drop. There's no doubt about it that Jeremiah Javen's a tough competitor here. And uh, no doubt about it that uh, he's giving CPU all he can handle with these illegal tactics, these chokes, and just dirty tactics, stepping on his fingers. He does what he has to do to win. He's an outcast. He's been shunned all of his life. He's so meticulous. He's just picking this dude apart here right now. The CPU tries to roll out of the ring. And CPU there, I think, knew that that flying senton was coming and tried to get out of the way, and now the outcast puts him back in place. And CPU rolls out of the way again. CPU is, is, is a smart, smart uh, wrestling machine here. Trying to get back so. to his feet. Certainly it appears so, but he's not that bright. It looks to me like he's had his uh, artificial intelligence upgraded recently. He's just trying to make a big comeback here. 
Look at those punches there by CPU. The Outcast needs to get it back together. The CPU tried to hit Jeremiah Javen with that uh, turnaround punch. Jeremiah Javen with that amazing neck breaker. That's got to be it, Travis. One, two, three. And that's a patent finish maneuver that I've never seen anybody kick out of here. As soon as he hits that, you know it's over. And he attacks CPU after the bell. What a beautiful neck breaker from the Outcast. And he's going straight to the pay window here today on NEW Evolved. The Outcast continuing. His climb up the ladder here in New Evolution Wrestling with a couple of impressive outings. And everyone should take note of the rise of the outcast that seems to be on the horizon, Travis. There's no doubt in my mind that there's more to come from this mysterious, mysterious individual. And fans, we'll be right back with more NEW Evolve. Follow NEW on Facebook at New Evolution Wrestling NL. Follow us on Twitter at NEW Wrestling NL. Find all our matches right here at New Evolution Wrestling on YouTube. champion hotshot daddy duggan the leader of team jacked and fanny pat and you are watching new evolution wrestling all right travis we're back on new evolved and here we see tank leading the way for hellraiser justin Locke and aziz collectively known as blood money putting the band back together to go for those newfoundland tag team titles travis well, this is a rare opportunity where two uh great superstars uh, New Evolution Wrestling decided to put their strengths back together for this opportunity at the NEW Tag Team Championships. These men at one point in time in Newfoundland Wrestling were tag team partners and like I said it looks like they're just putting the band back together here attempting to go for the gold. But I tell you right now, that's going to be easier said than done because the Dukes of Silver, since claiming the Newfoundland Tag Team titles, have had a firm stranglehold on the competition, Travis. They certainly have, but conspicuous by their absence here tonight is one Vera Vine. And, you know, with Tank at ringside and these guys without their support on the outside, do you think that there's a chance uh, that the titles might go the other way tonight? No, I don't. And the reason Vera Vine isn't here is A, it's Grand Falls. She doesn't go to places like that. And B, Tank is at ringside, and Vera Vine told me personally that after defeating her in that arm wrestling contest, she was done with Tank. She didn't need to be there. So you can make of that what you will. Personally, I think she's a hero. And here we see the Maverick Matt Wheeler, and look at this a little flashback history. Showing how the Dukes of Silver claimed the gold back at Summercade, Travis, with a victory over CPU and the Newfie Bullet. Absolutely, and the Newfie Bullet and the CPU haven't teamed up since. But as we see these guys here, um, you know, CPU. Oh, look at the dastardly, cowardly act using that title. As we see, this the was underhanded all tactics, this was all pre-arranged. We see Vera tactics. Vine spraying something into the eyes. I love it. This was an absolutely classic night in New Evolution Wrestling. Not only did Vera Vine win that absolutely fantastic, I might add, arm wrestling contest, but the Dukes of Silver made history and claimed these Newfoundland Tag Team titles, as we see right here on the screen, Travis. And this is where 1,000 people got to witness the Tag Team Championships change hands as we see Vera Vaughn celebrating with what a her, glorious night, Travis. With her two greatest men that she has in her life there. She's raising all of the gold. She certainly is not deservedly so. And here we see the following day in Whipper in Newfoundland, the Dukes of Silver forced to put those tag totals on the line against Tinge of Ginge, Zach Youngblood, and Don Martini. And this looked like it might have been a short reign there briefly. And Don Martini, look at this. 
and is she sprayed something in his eyes. She told me earlier that day she didn't like the way Don's hair looked. She just wanted to put a little hairspray in there, do a little design, maybe work things out for Don. Just so he's looking oh, good. Please. The, just so he's looking good for after the show. Please. And he's gonna look good after that one. Pow! Right in the kisser from Maverick Matt Wheeler. And here we see the the young blood, Zach Youngblood, about to pay the price for messing with the Dukes of Silver. Matt Wheeler's up on that rope there as we see what happened here in this flashback. And that is such a devastating maneuver. I'm surprised that he's going to be able to walk after that. And do you think that they're going to be able to do this to these rough and rough and tumble guys, Hellraiser, Justin Locke, and Aziz, these hardcore Newfoundland wrestling veterans, these salty, salty veterans? Well, time will tell on that one, Travis. But right now, I just want to point out how fearless the Dukes of Silver have been since claiming the Newfoundland Tag Team titles. Defeated Newfie Bullet in CPU. Took Tinge of Ginge to school in Whipper. Absolutely destroyed them, left the land. And now, Blood Money are going to find out why these two are the Newfoundland Tag Team Champions in short order. And you see, what a beautiful move there to kick this one off. The Dukes of Silver, full bore on the Blood Money. These guys are uh, starting off hot here as we just seen the credits roll off the screen to announce the match. Your revisionist history on what's been going on with these guys and how they ended up tag team champions amazes me. As these double corner, so corner punches here right now and, and it looks like the, the blood money's gotten this match in their control right off the hop here. Well, it's just as a fear. Everyone's been ganging up on the Dukes of Silver ever since they claimed the gold. Well, that's what usually happens when you're the champion. There's a target on your back. Well, they need some time to prepare. New Evolution Wrestling officials threw them in the ring the day after winning the gold against Tinge of Ginge and now Blood Money. That's it. New Evolution Wrestling is full of competition. Some of the best competitors in all of Canada and around the world. Did you see that backdrop, Travis Canning? I absolutely did, and, and you could hear it a mile. Oh, my God, that's brutal. And the Dukes of Silver need to get it, get it together and quick before it's too late here because Blood Money are hungry and are looking for the gold, Travis. From the looks of things, I would say that these guys have not lost their chemistry as a tag team one bit. What do you think? Certainly not. So fans are clearly behind these guys here right now. These two men are on fire, and Travis, what's this going to be? Aziz is particularly fired up here today. And what's Aziz this? Aziz going to the top rope. He hasn't done that since 2003. Here, oh Aziz. my God! Air Aziz, unbelievable fans, and we'll be right back with more NEW Evolved. Follow NEW on Facebook at New Evolution Wrestling NL. Follow us on Twitter at NEW Wrestling NL. Find all our matches right here at New Evolution Wrestling on YouTube. Pardon me, but I have a special announcement, and that is July the 25th, the Masterpiece himself, Chris Masters, is coming back to New Finland and New Evolution Wrestling. We're going to be at the Grand Falls, Windsor, in the Joe Byrne Arena. So get ready for a huge night of wrestling action. You're going to have myself and many others, and guess what? Chris Masters is back in the house, so that means somebody is going to get master locked. Can you believe that, Travis? The masterpiece, Chris Masters, returns next week, and we've received word he will be stepping into the ring with the redefinition Scott Humphreys. What a contest that will be. Well, this is a huge uphill battle once again for the redefinition. Putting his career on the line, in my opinion, I don't think he has recovered from his match with uh, Andrew Hawk just yet. 
No, certainly not. And look at this, the Hellraiser with the big boot to the face, Travis. And speaking of recoveries, how are, how are these guys going to recover and get themselves back into this match? As we see Matt Wheeler taking over here. And Hellraiser what a just a beautiful lock. assisted backbreaker off the ropes there by the Maverick. Taking out a big man like the Hellraiser with that one. As he tags in his tag team partner, Manly William Marsh. These guys know how to use the ring to their advantage so well. He's so manly. He just cut the ring off on uh, Justin Locke and Aziz. They can't get anywhere near each other right now whatsoever. No, they certainly can't. And look at this. What a brilliant maneuver. Behind the Manly referee's Williams. back now. And double teaming in the corner here. Go to disease what an illegal perfectly. tag. They were right next to each other. They could have easily tagged. Referee Billy Beard can't call what he doesn't see. And he certainly didn't see that one. And look at this here. You gotta love the Maverick. Justin Locke with that back elbow. Tank certainly is he gonna tag as easy? He there. is to get that fresh man in there as the uh, wily veteran here comes back into the ring and they're going for a double suplex. It looks like. Oh! It's a devastating double suplex. And Aziz go for a pin here and the referee in position. Only a two count by referee Billy Beard. Maverick Matt Wheeler needs to make the tag to Manly William Marsh. Or the Dukes of Silver might be kissing those tag team titles goodbye, Travis. Well, you know, with all the competition in Newfoundland, I'd say they're going to have a hard time hanging on to them regardless. Tag title scene in New Evolution Wrestling is absolutely on fire. And look at this. The Hellraiser comes within a hair of winning those tag team titles. It's just a lot. Brings Matt Wheeler back to his feet now. He's going to throw him into Aziz's foot in the corner. And these quick tags back and forth. These guys got this down. They haven't missed a beat since they teamed up years ago. Two Wiley veterans team for a long time here in Newfoundland, and it certainly shows. And look at that beautiful counter by Matt Wheeler. He is upset. And they were double teaming two. Aziz here, and here comes Justin Locke in the ring. I and and, and it. the referee trying to get, restore some order here, but what he doesn't realize is that these guys are still double teaming behind his back. Devastating by Matt Wheeler. The Dukes are on fire here. Tag team clinic here as they corner Aziz. Cut that ring off, Travis. And here comes Justin Locke trying to get back in the ring again. He's determined to get Aziz over to his corner and, and get him out of the ring and him back in there to try to salvage this match before it goes too far. And that running knee to the face there. And Hellraiser Justin Locke trying to get back into the ring and he breaks up the pin. That was a beautiful tag team maneuver by the Dukes of Silver right there. Just not enough to put Aziz away, Travis. The tag team scene here is absolutely on fire in New Evolution Wrestling. I've also received word that Bulldog Hines and Wes Winchester have gotten together as the main dogs and are looking for a shot at the Dukes of Silver as well. well you know, any opportunity to win a championship it's a good opportunity. We see a gigantic spine buster. Now there's an opportunity. One, two. That was a slow count by the referee there. What a beautiful spine buster by Manly William Marsh. He's going to have to do more than that, it seems, to, to keep uh, Aziz down. The instincts of Aziz are endless. He's been around wrestling since as far back as I can remember. And these two men here cutting off access to Hellraiser Justin Locke for Aziz perfectly, keeping him on their side of the ring classic tag team wrestling and you mark my words Travis it's not going to be too long before the Dukes are holding the gold high above their head here in Grand Falls today well be that as it may we'll have to wait and see as we see Aziz trying to fight back and Aziz back down to his knees again and onto uh, on, onto the mat as Matt Wheeler on top of him taking his oxygen away from him here Maverick Matt Wheeler. Talk about the MVP of New Evolution Wrestling. An absolute workhorse. He's in firm control. And fans, we'll be back with more of this tag title match after these messages. Follow NEW on Facebook at New Evolution Wrestling NL. Follow us on Twitter at NEW Wrestling NL. Find all our matches right here at New Evolution Wrestling on YouTube.
Okay, Travis, we are back, and the tag totals are on the line. The Dukes of Silver looking to hang on. Well, Matt Wheeler looks like he's flat on his back right now, and he's trying to get to his tag team partner, and so is Aziz, and they look like they're cutting each other off here. They got some work to do to get around each other if they're both going to make the tag. As a referee is in position to see both tags on both sides. Fans here in Grand Falls, certainly behind blood money, but the Dukes of Silver... Not really looking and for Aziz that support. stretching out, trying to get that tag here. He got the tag, and in comes Manuel William Marsh as well, and close line from Justin to Wheels to Manuel William Marsh. He's just all over the place here. Locks certainly a house of fire, and the Dukes of Silver need to pull something off quick. And Matt Wheeler in the corner, and Justin Locke splash, and another splash going back towards Wheels. He's just all over the place here. Justin Locke is one of the most chaotic individuals and unpredictable people, and he's going for the pin here. One and two, and he almost won the Tag Team Championships. Literally almost by himself, a beautiful running power slam by the Hellraiser on Matt Wheeler, but it wasn't enough. Well, Aziz back in the ring here with a burst of fire, throws Manly William Marsh to the outside, tags Aziz, and I don't know, I think this is a mistake. Aziz was just beaten on for... And you know, the Dukes have had enough. They've had enough. NEW management has forced them into these title matches, and it's not fair. Vera's not here. There's so many elements that aren't fair here today. They're taking their titles and going home, and I don't blame them. I don't blame them one bit. Who cares if the fans here are upset? Well, the guys are going after him. Now I'm going to try to get him back in the ring here and restart the match. What is this? Come on, referee. Let's get the count going. This has been about a 30 count since they've been outside the ring. It's a count out. Well, I was they just, retain their titles. I was just about to say that uh, Matt Wheeler, I like to call NEW's Iron Man, as of, as of this date, he has not missed an event in New Evolution Wrestling ever. But if he keeps doing this kind of stuff, he's not much of an Iron Man at all now, is he? He's a beautiful Iron Man, and these guys are going to take care of business here now any minute. What a devastating low kick to the face by Matt Wheeler. That's got to be enough here. And it's these, these kicks I can't out. Believe it. Aziz, after being beaten on for the duration of this match and being tagged in legally, I thought that was a mistake, but he seems to have got a second win here, and he's trying to get back over to his tag team partner. Is his tag team partner available for the tag, even? You know, I don't like him, but he certainly put in the effort here today, has Aziz, and Tank is up on the apron looking. And what is what business does she have getting involved here, taking the title belt away from Matt Wheeler? Well, she has no business... I love it. Beautiful shot to the back of the head by a manly William Marsh. No way. Get in there, referee. One, Come on, let's go. Two, three. And I love it. The Dukes of Silver retain the gold once again today here on NEW Evolved. And NEW Management can stick it for putting all these guys in these awkward situations. Tag total defense after tag total defense. And the Dukes of Silver come out on top. Well, Tank did her best to try to... Uh avoid the outside interference to get that championship away from uh, the Dukes of Silver, but it obviously never happened. You can see perfectly behind the referee's back, none the wiser, goes in, cradles the leg, and that's it, Travis. Still, your Newfoundland Tag Team Champions, the Dukes of Silver. New Evolution Wrestling would like to thank the following supporters. Breckle Pizza, Torbay Roll, West Side Churns, Kayla G. Travis, The Hulk, Protein and Catering, JC's Entertainment. 